All right, welcome everyone to another edition of the Pack TV, where we go over all things current, new, and upcoming with the Pack. So let's go ahead and get this started off with the fantasy football update. Here's the current standings: We have Britt at eight and one, riding a three-game winning streak. Mank at five and four, just won his last game. Myself at five and four, just lost my last game. Mank and I are now tied for that number two spot. Blazer at four and five, won the one one-game win streak. Biggs at three and six, he's lost his last one, and the Magnate on a two-game slide falls down to two and seven. I feel like the Magnate's just about eliminated. I don't, I, it, I guess, I guess maybe not because he's only two games behind Blazer, but it's it's getting close for him. It's getting a little dangerous for him. Okay, so it is full gear weekend. That means the Pack World Championship is on the line up there in the right-hand corner. You now see Travis Hopkins, our current Pack champion. He's putting his title on the line in a prediction contest at full gear. So, let's go ahead and start running down the card for full gear. We have the first match is the buy-in match. We have Thunder Rosa and Ukara Shida taking on Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter. Let me go ahead and start reading down the list of what everybody chooses here. Okay. Biggs. He chooses Thunder Rosa and Ikaru Shida. Hori chooses Thunder Rosa and Ikaru Shida. Terrell goes with Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter. The Magnates going with Thunder Rosa and Ikaru Shida. Kyle, aka Flex Storm, is going with Thunder Rosa and, Ka and uh, Ikaru Shida. And Blazer is going with Thunder Rosa and Ikaru Shida. And our current champion, Travis, also goes with Thunder Rosa. And Akara Shida. I'm going to go ahead and agree with pretty much what everybody said except for Terrell. I'm going to go ahead and say Thunder Rosa and uh, Akara Shida. The buy in match is supposed to get the crowd hot. I feel like go ahead and let the faces win. Go into the pay per view feeling good. All right, up next we have Danielson taking on Miro in the World Title Eliminator final. Um, let's see, Biggs. Is going with Danielson. Corey's going Danielson. Terrell's going Danielson. The Magnate is going Miro. Kyle's going Danielson. Blazer's going Danielson. And Travis also goes Danielson. I'm actually going to go with a Magnate on this. I think Miro. I think that Miro is the perfect first heel for uh, Hangman to go up against if he wins that world championship. And I think if you're going to have Hangman win the title tonight, which I'm going to go ahead and say it now, I think they are. Um, I think if you put Brian up against him right away, I feel like that's kind of going to automatically turn people on Hangman. So, to me, it makes sense for Miro to win that. Next, we have Jurassic Express and Christian Cage taking on the Young Bucks and Adam Cole, the Super Click, and a Falls Got Anywhere match. Biggs is going with the Super Click. Travis is going with Jurassic Express and Christian Cage. Corey is going with the Super Click. Terrell is going with the Super Click. The Magnate is going with Christian and Jurassic Express. Kyle goes with Christian and Jurassic Express. And Blazer goes with Christian and Jurassic Express. I'm actually going to go with the Super Click. I, I feel like the uh, False Count Anywhere is a perfect way for them to cheat to win and I think Bobby Fish is probably going to be part of that to set up uh, another little mini feud with him and Jungle Boy to continue that rivalry. Next up we have probably the most anticipated match now thanks to a promo a couple weeks ago in uh, CM Punk taking on Eddie Kingston. Let's see Biggs is going with Punk. Travis is going with Punk. Corey's going with Punk, Terrell's going Punk, the Magnate's going Punk, Kyle's going Punk, Blazer's going Punk. I might as well go ahead and go with the green here and say Punk. Simply because I don't think the story is really about winning and losing. I think the story is more about winning respect. And I think that Punk's going to win the match, but I think that Kingston is probably going to come out winning Punk's respect. I think it'll probably end with a handshake, at least that's the way the story is building to. 
So yeah, I, I think that's probably going to be the line from the commentary too. Punk won the match, but Kingston won respect. Next up, we have Dr. Britt Baker taking on Ty Conti for the AEW Women's World Championship. Biggs is going with Britt to retain. Travis is going Britt retains. Corey, Britt retains. Terrell, Britt retains. What Magnate? Boy, oh boy, this is a... Uh, Magnate says Ty Conti. Now, if by some miracle that does happen, that's a swing pick. That, that could uh, get the Magnate the championship right there. Kyle going Brit. Blazer going Brit. I'm going Brit. It's too early for Ty. And Brit's really hot right now. And I really think that uh, Ty's on her way up, but it's, it's not quite time. So, Brit retains. Alright, next. The Inner Circle taking on Scorpio Sky, Ethan Page, and American Top Team. Biggs is going with the American Top Team, surprisingly. Travis is going Inner Circle. Corey, Inner Circle. Terrell, Inner Circle. The Magnate, Inner Circle. Kyle, Inner Circle. Blazer, Inner Circle. And I'm going to go ahead and say Inner Circle. I think it's time to end this rivalry. I don't see anywhere else it could go. And the only logical ending to the story is Dan Lambert to eat the finish, whatever it is. Whether it's him going through a table, tapping out to the walls of Jericho, or eating a Judas effect, I think that's the outcome, Inner Circle. Alright, next up, we have Pac and Cody Rhodes taking on Malachi and Andrade. Biggs is going with Andrade and Malachi. Travis, Andrade and Malachi. Corey's going Cody and Pac. Terrell is going Andrade and Malachi. The Magnate is going Cody and Pack. Kyle is going Andrade and Malachi. Blazer, Andrade and Malachi. Now, I, I believe that between Cody and Malachi and Pack and Andrade, I think the faces have won singles matches the last two times that they faced off. So I feel like now that it's a tag team, I think the heels are going to get a win back and I don't know it, it could be because Malachi didn't make that comment about being what do you say it was more than just Marcus that portrayed Caesar as in other words there's more people behind the scenes waiting to come out to align themselves with Malachi so we could see one or more of them show up at full gear to help them win the match so I'm going with the Malachi and Andrade up next we have MJF versus Darby all right, Biggs, MJF, Travis, Darby, Corey, MJF, Terrell, MJF, The Magnate with Darby, Kyle, MJF, Blazer, MJF. I think this story has some legs to it. I think it's going to continue. So I think in order for it to continue, I think MJF has to get into Darby's head, and I think that will cost Darby the match, leading to another match. So I'm going to say MJF on this one. Alright, up next we have FTR taking on the Lucha Brothers for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. Biggs is going with Lucha Brothers, Travis Lucha Brothers, Corey with the Lucha Brothers, Terrell with FTR. Terrell is kind of going against his, uh, his group there. He's kind of picking the opposite of some of them. The Magnate with the Lucha Bros, Kyle with the Lucha Bros, and Blazer with the Lucha Bros, and I'm going to go ahead and say the Lucha Bros as well. I don't see any reason to take the tag titles off the Lucha Brothers. They're, they wasn't that long ago that they won them, and they haven't really defended them very many times, so I think they're going to hold on to it. So I'm picking Lucha Bros. Alright, last match. We have Kenny Omega defending the AEW Championship against Hangman Adam Page. Alright, Biggs is going with the Kenny Omega to retain. Travis is going with Hangman Adam Page. Corey with Hangman Adam Page. Terrell with Kenny Omega. Once again, he goes against his group. The Magnate with Hangman Adam Page. Kyle with Hangman Adam Page. Blazer with Hangman Adam Page. I was torn on this one. Uh, I kind of saw two different ways of doing this. I, I kind of figured... Once I found out that Hangman's hometown was 
uh, they were having dynamite in the following Wednesday right after full gear I kind of thought maybe you have hangman get screwed at full gear and then he wins it on Wednesday uh, but they kind of ran that angle at the contract signing with Don Callis so I feel like they don't I wouldn't do that twice I wouldn't do it again at the pay-per-view so I think Heyman's gonna win and then I think he's gonna have a huge celebration in his hometown all right so that does it for that we will uh, be posting live updates throughout full gear with score updates on the standings here as we go along with these predictions Good luck to Travis, and I will see you all right here on Pack TV next week when we do the same thing for Survivor Series. So have a good one, guys, and I, we will also see you live on Wednesday for AW Dynamite.